Hey there, it is here, the 5,000 first review of the new Fenty Powder Foundation. And you should watch this one because it's number 5001 and I hope that you enjoy it. So I'm not gonna do a lot of talking before we get into it. We're just gonna unbox it. And I got shade 410, which is the same shade that I wear in the, um, the matte the matte liquid foundation. So I figured that this would be a shade match and hopefully I am correct. We've also got a new setting here. So I'm testing this out. If I don't like the way it turns out, then we may go back to the old setup. So here it is. So of course it's got the Oxagon sort of shape like a lot of Fenty products do. And oh, I like this. So we open it up, it kind of like pops itself up. Can you see that? I do like that because I don't like sometimes having to go in there. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal. And then you also have a little sponge in here. And of course, a mirror with the Fenty Beauty on it. And it's a pretty nice size mirror. So all right, we're going to get into it. And hopefully we like the results because I'm a pretty big fan of Fenty so far with the stuff that I've tried. So I'm hoping that this does not let me down. So as always, I'm starting with primer and this is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. And I'm just gonna put that all over. And this primer for me keeps me the most matte. So usually this is where I would put on my foundation, but because we're using a powder foundation, I use all of my liquid products first. So we're gonna start with concealer and I'm using the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer in shade MD21. And I'm also gonna set that with the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder. It's my favorite under eye combination. Then I'm gonna go ahead in with my contour. So for my contour, I'm using the Smith & Colt Veiled Thread Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. Um, it's sort of like a bronzer and then I'm using an Anastasia stick foundation as like my actual, you know, like shadow contour. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks. It's a cream blush and I like to use a cream blush underneath my foundation just to kind of give that like sort of natural blush look. So I'm going to go in with that. And now we are on to the powder foundation. Okay, so this is how everything is looking for the base. And I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush for this foundation. I started using this with liquid foundations and I didn't really, I like the result, but I feel like the Kabuki Air works better for liquid foundations. And this one kind of like picks up enough product for powder foundations and I like the coverage. so. Hopefully it works well with this foundation. I'm gonna swirl some in with my brush. I always hate messing up the little like letters. Kind of makes me sad. All right, and then I'm just gonna buff this into my skin. And I'm gonna go over all of the areas except for um, my under eye area, obviously, because that's where we have our concealer. But everything else, I'm gonna go in with this. And I do feel like this is a good color match. So it's a tad orange, I think. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I think like obviously my natural skin here compared to here, it might be a tad orange. I'm not sure. But I think that the coverage is really nice and natural. It doesn't look powdery to me at all. And it has a good bit of coverage. And also usually I would go in with a setting powder after applying like the blush and everything, but I wanted to see like the natural tone of this foundation. And I don't have a setting powder that doesn't have some tint to it. So I just went in with the foundation. Okay, so far I'm pretty happy with this. There are some areas where I do like a bit more coverage like right along my cheek. So in those areas, I'm just gonna pick some up on the brush and just tap it on instead of buffing it in to build up the coverage there. Okay, so all in all right now, I am pretty pleased with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my powder contour and some powder blush so you can kind of see like how it all comes together. Um, oh yeah, and the highlight, and the highlight too, how it all comes together. 
Okay, so going in with my powder contour, I'm just going to go over the areas where I applied the liquid contour. So just to deepen it a bit, um, you lose some of the contour when you put foundation on top. And I also like to contour my chin and jawline a little bit with the powder. For highlighter, I like to go in first with Hourglass Ambient Light. I feel like it adds a nice sort of subtle glow to the face. And then after that, I like to go in with an actual highlighter. So today I'm using the Pat McGrath highlighter. You know, I just realized I didn't put any foundation on my nose. So let me just go in with what's left on the brush and just go along the sides and tap it a little bit down the nose. I don't know how I missed my nose. Like, come on now. <laughs> and I like to do a very light layer of blush because obviously we put on the cream blush before we did the foundation. So I don't want it to be overdone. I just want to amp it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and I'll be back with the final look so you can see how it all comes together and get some of my final thoughts on this foundation. So this is the final look. I did go for some neutral soft glam. I know my hair still looks a, cra a little crazy because I am about to film a hair video and that'll be out by the time you see this. So make sure that you check it out. But I really like the finish of this foundation. I know I thought that it may have been a little orange, but upon further review, I do think that it's a good color match. And I like that it's like a natural soft matte sort of finish. I don't feel like it looks too powdery. I did spray some Mario Badescu facial spray before I sprayed my primer. And I always like to do that when I use a powder foundation just to take down any of that powdery look that may be there. But I didn't really feel like it looked too powdery. So I think that this is a win in my book for Fenty Beauty. Let me know what your thoughts are on this foundation if you've tried it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every single Tuesday and Friday and hit that notification bell so you can be one of the first to know when there is a new video and I will see you next time. Bye.